like summer rain and I cannot compete with you Jolene 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 I'm begging of you please don't take my man Jolene 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 please don't take him just because you Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Jolene by Dolly Parton. Incredibly beautiful song, this one. It can be played by beginners. I'm going to show you like a real stripped down, simple version that you can strum along with the original recording. Then we'll talk about a few more fancy ways and I'll talk about this finger picking pattern as well that you can use. It's a little bit more like the original recording. There's a lot of tracks going on on the original recording. There's the, the this kind of the, the most identifiable riff, I guess, which is what I'm going to show you. But there's a lot of other fingerstyle parts in there as well. So if you're getting into fingerstyle, feel free to uh, experiment a little bit with this tune. It's a really nice one. The first thing I need to mention about this song is that we're in 2-2 two, two time, which is basically meaning there's two pulses or two strums or two beats in each bar rather than the usual four. Now, I'm not going to go to the big music theory lesson. If you want some more information, go and check out the lesson on time signatures over on the website. That will give you all of the information you need. But for now, just think of it as two strums per bar, OK? Now, I've got the capo on here at the fourth fret, which you need if you're going to play along with the original recording, which is something I definitely recommend you get into. But if you haven't got a capo, you can definitely play it uh, uh, without a capo, just in open position as well. Of course, it'll just be lower, which might be better for your voice. You have to try it and see. So the first chord that we need is an A minor chord and it's actually played for eight bars at the beginning. It's four times around a little two bar finger style pattern that we're going to look at a little later on. But to start off with we're just thinking of the strumming as being one, two is one bar. Okay so we've got eight bars so it'll be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, not particularly difficult that part is it so uh, and we go into then the chorus okay a little unusual going straight into a chorus but it's uh, really effective in this song and the chord sequence that we've got here for the chorus is A minor C G two bars of A minor and then to G the two bars and then four bars of A minor okay Jolene, Jolene, Jolene I'm begging of you, please don't take my man Two, one, two, one And then it's exactly the same sequence again To C, to G, to A minor For two bars G and then it's G again Then to four bars of A minor Okay, normally on the bars of A minor, we'd add in this little finger style riff again, but we're not, we haven't got to that yet. There's a few steps to go through before we get to learning that part. That's the chorus, okay? So A minor, C, G, A minor, A minor, G, G, A minor, A minor, A minor, A minor. That's the sequence times two, that's your chorus that's sorted out. The verse chord progression is almost the same actually as the chorus chord progression. It's uh, A minor, C, G, A minor, G, G, A minor, A minor, A minor, A minor. So we're just kind of losing one A minor, if you like, out of the first line of chords. Let me say that again. A minor, C, G, A minor, then G, G, four bars of A minor. And it's all of that times two for the for the verse. Let me just play that through. So A minor is C compared to G chord locks of A minor with G chord skin and G of emerald A minor for four bars. And 
then A minor is a C of spring and your G chord is soft like an A minor and G chord cannot can G with you Joe A minor again that's four bars of that A minor at the end we're back into the chorus it's A minor to C to G to A minor I'm G and of you G don't take my A minor for four bars That's how I'd recommend that you start. Keeping it real simple, I'm just using my thumb here, I'm not even using the pick, um, but just keeping the real simple down strums and be able to play through the whole song before you start getting anything more fancy. Really recommend doing that. It'll teach you a lot about the form, it'll get the feel of the song kind of inside you, in your musical mind, and I think that sort of stuff's pretty important. So once you feel confident with just the down strums, you probably want to start exploring the rhythm a bit, but it's a quite a fast song, okay? So you might find it takes a little bit of practice to be able to get any of these strumming patterns uh, together or the finger style actually for that matter but a nice one to start off with whether if you're using a pick or your fingers it doesn't really matter I'll just stay on the A minor for now just to explain the, the chord progression but you might want to go down down up down up down down up down up. one two three and four and one two three and four and now I'm, I'm counting to four here because if I stay in two then I'd have to count in 16th notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, and for most beginners they find that a little bit awkward. So I'm kind of describing it to you in a, a twice the speed that it would be when you're playing along. So you go one, two, three, and four, and 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 one, two, three. It's quite difficult to speak it at that speed, but to learn it at that speed is, is a nice tempo to be able to count it out, okay? So the A minor, we're gonna down, down, up, down, up, one, and four and down down miss up down up down down miss up down two three and four and one 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 two three and four It's a really, really nice little chord sequence. It's quite tricky for beginners because it's kind of the tempo's up, okay? But that's the only thing. Remember that there's these programs like Transcribe that I use where you can slow the original recording down a little bit. So if it's just a bit too fast and you can't play along, then just slow it down to 80% or 70% and play along that way and gradually speed it back up to 100%. It's a really, really great way of getting your strumming and these more complicated, faster patterns under your fingers nicely. Um, if you're happy with that and you're looking for something a little bit more complicated, a, a sort of strumming pattern that I really like for this kind of tune is using my thumb on the bass notes of the chords and my first finger to strum. So again, just stick it on the A minor. Thumb would play the bass note, which is the fifth string, and then I do a down strum with my first finger, then the bass note again with my thumb, and then up, down, up, with my, still just using my first finger. So I'm using my thumb on the bass note, of the chord, the bass note of the chord, which will be the fifth string for the A minor chord and the C, and then the sixth string for the G chord, okay? Um, so I'm playing that, and then first finger, just using kind of the outside part of my thumb, uh, sorry, my first finger to strum down, then thumb again, up, down, up. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and thumb, first finger, thumb, up, down, up, one. See, it gets a little bit fast there using this technique. So it's really important for beginners that you stay at a tempo where you're comfortable because you don't want to go too fast and use bad technique. That's actually, that would be worse for you. So much better to stay at a, at a slightly slower tempo and get it right. I think that's a much better plan for, well, all guitar players, not just beginners. I think it's, a, you know, when you're learning something, you want to do it slowly and correctly and gradually speed it up. That's the best way to get faster rather than trying to play too fast all the time. You kind of trip over yourself and develop bad habits, I think. Uh, go 
going that way. But uh, if you want to go into a full on finger style pattern, of course, you're going to have to have your finger style patterns fairly quick as well. If you feel ready to have a go at doing the finger style, I definitely recommend that you go and check out my folk finger style course, which is free over on the website. It's a big comprehensive course and it'll teach you the essential patterns that you need to play this style of finger style acoustic guitar. Okay, there are very specific patterns that get used most of the time. Of course, on the actual recording, there's quite a few different layers of finger style patterns. So different finger style patterns happening at the same time. OK, so it gets even more complicated uh, if you get into how it was on the original recording. So I would recommend that you check out the folk finger style patterns that I've got on the website and then have a go at applying those to this. OK, the big deal is going to be the movement of the bass note. OK, so the thumb is going to be playing between the on the A minor chord between the fifth string and the fourth string. So you get this. That's what the thumb is doing for that sort of chord progression. In fact, let me just give you a little close up so you can see exactly what I mean. Okay, so for the verses, you might be doing something like this, just slowing it down. Okay, so thumb is moving. now between the bass note and another note in the chord. That's the pattern that I think works best if you wanted an introduction. So thumb is playing the bass, second finger is playing the second string, thumb plays the fourth string, first finger plays the third string, then thumb back on the bass note which is the fifth string, second finger plays the second string, thumb plays the fourth string again. Together, thumb one, thumb two, thumb. Together, thumb one, thumb two, thumb. That would be a really nice pattern to get going if you're new to this kind of thing. Really, really works well that there's of course slight differences that you could use but that would be a great starting point now the actual riff itself while we're in the close-up the okay it's again we got this thumb moving between the fifth string and the fourth string Okay, so thumb plays the fifth string, first finger plays the third string, thumb plays the fourth string, second finger plays the second string. Okay, and it's an A minor but with the first finger lifted off. So A sus2 really. Then bass again, then okay, this time we play thumb playing the fourth string, second finger playing the second string, open and then hammering the first finger into the first fret and the second finger into the second fret of the fourth string. Still, that's kind of our A minor, okay? Then thumb plays the open fifth string. Uh, we play the second string and then thumb plays the fourth string again. Then the first finger plays the first fret on the uh, second string. Uh, uh, that's uh, the fretting hand. The thumb is going to be playing the the fifth string, and second finger is going to be plucking the second string. Uh, first finger is flicking off. Then thumb plays the fourth string, and first finger plays the third string. Okay, it's a pretty complicated little riff. This. Break it down and get into four little chunks. Here's the first one thumb, third string, thumb, second string. Strings five, three, four, two. Then, then just the bass note on the fifth string, 
Then this little hammer on with thumbs playing the fourth string, second fingers plucking the second string, hammering the first and second fingers in their A minor positions. Then the whole hand lifts off again, fifth string, second string, fourth string with the thumb. Then thumb is playing the bass note at the same time, first finger does a little flick off from the first fret to the open B string. Okay, sorry, plucking with the second string there. Then thumb playing the fourth string, first finger playing the third string. It's a complicated little riff. I'm gonna put it up on the website, okay? Because the, well, frankly, the tab in my songbook in the, the current edition is wrong. I need to get that fixed for the next edition for sure. Um, but I've just gone and uh, given it another listen and, and figured out exactly what was going on. So this is the pattern now, nice and slow. It's really funny how difficult some easy songs are. You know, on the surface, this is a pretty straightforward tune, and if you keep the strumming simple and the chord simple, it is. And it's definitely a nice one for beginners to play along with if you keep the strumming simple. Chords are nice, you can play along, you could sing along, really lovely tune. As soon as you start introducing some of the strumming, it feels fast very quickly, and especially if you introduce the finger style patterns. There's a lot going on. You know, that riff, the main riff there was a, was a tricky one for me. I had to, you know, I wrote it out, I got it wrong the first time I transcribed it. I was like, I came back to it to do this lesson, listen to it, and I'm like, this isn't right, it feels like I want that bass note in there, you know, and I'm, I'm still not 100% certain I've got it right, because there is a lot going on in this song, and the parts are a little bit um, hidden in places. So, But this is my best guess, and I'm pretty sure I got it right, and like I said, I'll put a tab for that uh, intro riff there up on the website for you to check out. So, look, I really hope you enjoy playing this tune, and I'll see you for plenty more very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.